Thank you, Mark. You know, the topic of grief is something that I believe pretty much anybody who's living and breathing has gone through, and many people are still going through to this very day. Sandy Rufner from Shawnee Alliance Church, she is the care pastor at the church, is here to talk about this entire, con this just this very important concept of grief. And before we talk about some of the opportunities that exist to help people through it, let's just talk about grief in general. You always hear about the stages of grief, the, the importance of walking through that. Do you agree that, that grief is something that people have to process? Absolutely. Um, that is why over four years ago we began this ministry because if you do not process it, in fact we just had an example of a gentleman who had come in and had, uh, had not processed and he was very, very angry, very uh, very wounded, um, isolated, mm. uh, which is also what a lot of people think they can do it themselves. And um, that's God created us to interact with mm -hmm. people, and uh, um, you have to do that. You have to walk through your grief, and you have to have some help. So the ministry you talked about is called Grief Share, mm -hmm. and you said it's been four years now mm -hmm. that Shawnee Alliance has started. That is now expanding it. We are. <clears throat> what? Tell me about Grief Share and what it offers. Well, it is a 13-week program, and people can come at any time. They could mm -hmm. come on the 13th week if they wanted to. Mm -hmm. uh, we welcome people to come back. Some people will come a second, a third time, as long as they need to process that. Um, we have five people who are involved as leaders. All of them, as all of us, have experienced grief, uh, some in losing mates, um, um, different times of their lives. We have a woman who uh, had only been married a few years when her husband mm -hmm. died, and she has several, had two little kids then. Um, a husband lost wi a wife, wife having lost husband. We have people who have walked through this, mm -hmm. and so they understand. It's not like we just pick people out. Um, they meet weekly. Our evening class is at 6.30 on Wednesday night as part of our Wednesday night program. Um, they uh, discuss various topics, um, difficult topics, suicide, um, early death, um, just various things that we, each week is a different topic. Um, we again have people who are there to minister. Sometimes they will break into smaller groups, sometimes they will stay in the big group. It is a DVD series, so they watch and then they talk about the lesson. And it's just an excellent program. It sounds like it's also a safe place, regardless of where that person is. You say the gentleman came in, he was very angry, he was very isolated, but he was he was in a welcoming place. So it doesn't matter what stage people are in, no. this is a good option for them. That's right. And that's the key of, of any ministry like this, divorce care, uh, our Celebrate Recovery. It needs to be a safe place, mm -hmm. a place that they can know that they are going to receive help that they're able to express exactly and anger is a part of that a bitterness can be a part of that but and that's why also we encourage people to come back mm -hmm. uh, sometimes a 13-week program is simply not enough that's also the reason that we're starting this daytime group um, it is going to begin april 3rd at 10 o'clock in the morning and to a, able to reach some people that uh, want to come during the day. All right, so again, that is April 3rd, 10 o'clock in the morning, the new daytime grief mm -hmm. share group. And this is taking place at Shawnee Alliance, but it is not just for Shawnee Alliance church members, right? That is correct. Uh, in fact, there have been times when we've not had anybody from our congregation that's been in the group. It's all been people from other places. We encourage our people to tell other people about it. Um, we want to have this be something that can, there can be healing. Mm -hmm. Everybody is going to need this. All right, Sandy, we're going to have to close, but would you, would you be willing to just say a short prayer for our viewers, those who, who are feeling that pain in their hearts, realizing they're, they're too going through that stages of grief? Would you just take a moment and pray for them? Precious Heavenly Father, I come to you on behalf of those who are watching this program and uh, uh, maybe didn't even know what it was going to be about, but you have divinely appointed them to hear this. Lord, I pray that they would know that this would be, as we've talked about, a safe place. Father, I pray that you would bring people to this group because there are leaders there 
who have been in that place who want to minister mm -hmm. to those who are grieving and mourning. And I thank you, Father, for just the opportunity to share today. And I pray, Lord, that you would speak and your people would be obedient to come for the healing that they can receive mm -hmm. from you, the healer. Mm -hmm. And I ask this in the precious and holy name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you to Shawnee Alliance for offering such a very, very important program, Grief Share, that is available Wednesday evenings. But the new class, the daytime class, is starting April 3rd. You can get more information by the information on your screen. You can always call us here at TV44 or you can call Shawnee Alliance Church. God does not want you to live in grief. He wants to carry you through and he wants to break you free from that bondage to new life. All right. Now we'll pass it off to Zach.